Welcome everyone to uh, episode four of DIY fingerboard ramps with Simon and Kevin here. Uh, we are going to be building an angled ledge today. So just a quick review of materials before we get started. You're going to want to have a cereal box, a pair of scissors, some kind of marking device like a pen or a pencil. For measuring straight lines, you're going to want to have a ruler or any kind of straight edge really. I don't think we're actually measuring. And then to hold it all together, some tape. All right. And uh, with that, I will turn it over to our host, <clears throat> Simon. All right, Simon, take it away. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome to episode four. Um, today, we're going to be making what we call an angled ledge. But really, it kind of looks like an oversized parking block, which is, in skateboarding, like a really popular obstacle. It's something that a lot of skaters might be doing like a lot of grinds or slides on. But the cool thing about this thing right here is that, so it's angled on basically every side. So it's really easy for your board, or in this case, a fingerboard, to sort of just ride up it, right? So no ollies required, and you guys can do like a whole bunch of like grinds and slides on this. Um, so we went over the materials, right? So we're going to start off with our box, right? You want it to be flattened out, right? And uh, first step we're going to do is we're going to cut across one of these edges, right? Just so that we can have a nice flat thing to work with for now, right? So I'm going to grab my scissors. Oh, and also, if you guys have any questions, like, in between just... I think you can raise your hand and Kevin might be able to answer you or you can put them in the comments and yeah, I'll try my best to help you guys. All right. So we're going to grab our scissors. Like I said, we're just going to cut up one edge, right? So I'm going to start doing that now. Okay, so now I have this nice flat piece of cardboard to work with. All right, um, here's the thing. So basically what we're gonna be doing is, if you can kind of try to visualize it in a way, right? So where we cut, the opposite side, right? So if it was like this, we're gonna be looking at this side for now, right? So this is gonna be like the angled ledge part, right? And you can kind of see it already. But push it together, it'll make like a nice little triangle, right? So I'll wait for everyone to finish that. All right. Cool. All right, next step. All right, so now we have this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at one of these edges, right? So you see how I was able to go like this, right? So what's gonna happen is we're gonna cut, we're gonna draw out some triangles, right? So that we can cut out these corners. But um, real quick, let's start by, you're gonna grab your straight edge and kind of going this way, you're gonna see how long this face is, right? So this side piece, right? You're gonna see how long that is. So in my case, it's like about two inches. You don't actually, I mean, you can actually eyeball it if it's small enough. But the whole idea is you want to be able to draw another section on this face that's the same size as this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna see that it's two inches. And so I'm gonna measure it out from here. And I'm gonna draw a nice line right here. Yeah, for the other side too, actually, if it's easier to see. All right. 
So I just marked it with the Sharpie. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna actually just draw a line real quick and you guys can see what I mean. Right? So like that, right? So now you have this bend, but you also have, well, okay, so this is gonna be the other side, right, of the ledge. And um, what you can actually do for now is once you make this line here, you're gonna cut across, you're gonna cut the side off, right? might be easier to explain once it's, once it comes off. Right here. All right, so now it's probably a little easier to tell what I'm doing, right? So I kept this line, right? The whole idea is you use the corner or one of these edges, right? That way it can start to look like that. So basically I drew that line going across here so that the space here is the same size as the space here, which would be like the side of the box. And the section that I cut out, these should be the same size, right? Because you want to have a sort of triangle, right? And you want those to be pretty even. Okay. So once you guys are up to there, we have to now cut out or draw out some little triangles, right? So that we can create the space for these angles here. And to do that, right, we're gonna look at this, right? And right now we're only gonna be really looking at this crease right here. And I'm just gonna draw a line you don't want it, you don't really need to measure this one out, but you probably don't want it to be like too far down, right? You want it to be, you can estimate maybe like an inch or two, right? Right here. And I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. Right, so I'll draw two dots here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, use my straight edge or my ruler to draw two lines that go from here to this corner and from here to this corner, right? So we're making, we're basically drawing a couple upside down triangles. I'll show you guys what I mean. So you don't have to be perfect, but so far this is what I did, right? I basically drew two straight lines from this corner to the dot I made. And you wanna make sure this dot's right in the middle, right? That way these two sides can still stay even, right? Dots, again, when you draw them, they don't have to be like any particular length away from each end, right? Like this distance, I'm just trying to eyeball it. So this distance is the same as this distance, right? So like the height of each triangle, really. Um, I wouldn't make them more than like, you know, an inch or two. Just cause you want like a really long ledge, right? So what we're really doing right now is we're creating like the length of the actual top of the ledge, right? And the part where your fingerboard might be doing grinds and stuff. So if you make it too long, you're gonna end up with this really deep, like incline sort of, and like a ledge that's like this short. So you want it to be like, you wanna start making these triangles only like an inch and a half, like high.
Here, I'll hold this up again so you guys can see. Yeah, this one, this one requires a little more drawing than the other three projects. So bear with me. <laughs> That looks good, Kevin. <laughs> Did you get the triangles? Nice. You're muted. Oh, here we go. All right. Yeah, I got the triangles drawn out, but then I think before I did that, I might have skipped ahead and I was thinking about my base and what angle I wanted this to be. And then I realized right. I might want it to be uh, at a 90 degree angle because if I was ever like right next to a wall, I could actually use this as like a bank to wall. That's true. You could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already thinking of other ways far. to use this. Like, but, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you, like Kevin said, this whole like backside of the box, right? That's going to be room for us to create the base, but we're not really going to do that yet because it's going to make it a little harder to cut out these triangles, which is going to come out in a later step, right? That's the surface of, the bank, right? So, all right, once you guys have these triangles drawn out, we're just gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna cut them, cut them out, right? So here, I'll do mine real quick so I can show you guys. Right, so like that. See, I just cut it out. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Here you go. So now you should have something that looks kind of like this, right? You have like two trapezoids on each side of the crease. So again, just cutting them out. Nice. Just taking a look at what some of you guys have done. But what I would do real quick is for now, to make it a little easier, we can actually cut off these flaps now. So you see how these, we have these two flaps, right? They're probably part of like the uh, top or bottom of the box, right? So we're gonna cut these extra flaps off because we don't really need them. And that'll leave, I'll show you guys what that'll leave me with. I only did that to make it a little easier for us to do this next step, but you can see here, I just cut off the sides, right? So I have this nice clean sort of square. Well, in my case, it's, you know, with the thing that we made earlier, right? And you can kind of already start to visualize this, right? Like Kevin was doing it earlier, but this right here is gonna to start to form the wedge, right? And I just cut off these flaps so it's going to be easier for us to see, right? All I did was cut off the sides, right? And I just, you can toss those aside for now. So once you guys are done with that, this is when things might start to get a little tricky. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to cut out now. We're going to draw out and trace out the triangle pieces that are going to be sort of from the sides, right? So you see how I put like a surface here and it's, it's banked, right? We're going to cut out these triangles now. And um, what might make this a little easier to start off with is you might want to grab a piece of tape real quick. This is just like a temporary piece of tape, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to sort of hold my, you know, my ledge or this piece at a nice angle that I want to have it at, right? So let's say I want my my ledge to be like at this angle, right? So I'm using this piece of tape to hold it there just for a second, right? And this is like a temporary piece of tape. So you don't really need, you know, it can be like a tiny piece, but all you want to do right now is you just want to be able to hold this in place. And ideally you do want this top edge to be at the top, but because these, um, these two sides, right? These two sort of slopes are like the same in size. It should come out pretty evenly. Right? So all I did was I took a piece of tape and I held it there for a second, right? Because what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna trace out the triangles on the piece of cardboard that I cut out earlier, right? So if you guys were, you know, cutting, remember when we drew that first line and we cut it off, right? So now you have this huge piece of spare cardboard and we're gonna use this to sort of trace out the triangles, right? And it's gonna be a little awkward because, right, we do have these cuts and it's at an angle. So holding it, you know, in one place, would be kind of weird. But that's why I told you guys I recommend to use a piece of tape to hold together. That way you're not like, it's not too much, right? And the easiest way to do this, I would say, is to use one of these edges on the spare piece of cardboard you have and just line up, right? So I'm holding my thing like this, right, say? Right, and I just turn a little bit. And I just want to line it up with one of the straight edges on the end of the box or the um, sheet of cardboard that we created. And I'll show you guys. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace out, right? So this sort of upside down V, right? The top half of the triangle really. I'm just gonna trace that on here, right? And these can be pretty rough, right? Because you do want these to be bigger, a little bit bigger when you cut them out. All right. And I know it definitely feels a little awkward to trace these out, but so they don't have to be perfect, but you see what I did. I held it like this. Right. Like imagine holding your thing like this and you grab your thing and you just draw that V, right? You wanna follow the angle that you created when you tape this first part. Like Kevin, did you already, did you just cut out the triangles? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. But you, you traced it, right? Like I, yeah, I, I traced it. All right, nice. I, what I did was I traced, I did one and I kind of, like you said, I made it like a little weight, a little too big. And then I, I made a, a an adjustment. And, um, and then I used that one to trace the second one. Well, yep. actually, hopefully, I just realized that they're actually different sides, so hopefully they're close enough. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. It looks so pretty close. if you made them pretty even, you could trade, you can cut out one and trace out the other. Um, like I said, they don't have to be perfect. I mean, as long as they are able to fit over this, right. I just cut these out or I'm going to cut these out. So let me, let me do that real quick. And, you know, what you cut out can be, like, slightly different from what you actually drew because, you know, it's sort of hard to draw, like, a perfect triangle, right? So with scissors, you can make the adjustments you need, right? So I just cut this triangle out, right? And I can kind of see that at the angle, it should fit over this pretty well, right? And um, like I said, you know, you want to cut these out maybe a little bit, a little outside the line that you drew. That way you have a little more room to work with. Just see how these fit. All right, they fit pretty well. Right. So I just cut out these two triangles that I drew, trying my best to trace out the shape of the ledge I made. And if I just hold it together real quick, this isn't how we're going to attach them, but if I'm just holding it together like this, you can see that they cover the hole, right? More or less evenly. All right, uh, now we're gonna start, if you guys are ready, if you guys have your triangles ready, then, all right, cool. Then we can start putting it together. So now we can take off this piece of tape now, right? Like I said, it was just a temporary piece to make it easier for us to draw out those triangles. But we basically already set the angle that we want this ledge to be at by making these triangles. Right. So here we go. To put these triangles on, right? So now we're back, we're back to having this flat piece, right? I took off that piece of tape. And so now what we're gonna do to apply each of these triangles is we're gonna grab another piece of tape, right? And this is gonna require like a few pieces actually, but to get it on there the first time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a piece of tape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically put it on the inside, right? So if this is gonna be the part that's facing you, right, the outside, I'm gonna stick this piece of tape across like that, right? So the sticky side is facing out. Right. So that way, right, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to line up the side, the triangle with the angle, right? And you can even do this when it's like kind of flattened like that. Right. Right, so you can see I attached one side and you just want to flip that the other side of the tape over. Right, so that when you attach it, now it's there, right? And this is just that first piece of tape, because what we're going to do next is we're going to put tape over it, right? So now you should have something like this, right, for one side. If I put it under, 
you can see I use that piece of tape to attach it to the inside. And like I said, these things don't have to be perfect the first time, right? But once you get that first piece of tape in there, right, that should be enough to hold it in place. It's a little long, but um, here, I'm gonna cut this piece of tape in half. Okay. And now I'm just gonna tape across. on the outside. Like that. So now, this triangle, it's pretty secure, right? It's there. So we now have a surface filling in one of these sides. Yeah, the taping can be a little tricky along with like, you know, cutting it out at the right angle and trying to hold it there. But if you guys are able to manage them, it should be able to stay in place pretty well. And really what ends up happening is like the angle of this, of the ledge that you created is really adjusting to the size of the triangle that you made, right? And we're just taping it all together. So we should have half of this finished now. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. And I'll just show you guys again what that looks like. Okay, so I grab this again. All right, I'm gonna put my, my tape on the inside, right? Like that, sticky side facing out. I'm gonna place it on the inside, right? Going to line up one side, right, like that. And then I'm just going to pull this under so that the other side of the tape sticks to the other side of the ramp. Like that. There you go. It's on there. And I'm going to reinforce that on the outside with some couple extra pieces of tape. Okay, while everyone is working on their tape, I just wanted to do a little bit of uh, uh, maybe skate history, skate terminology. Um, this obstacle we're creating today, uh, you know, we're calling it an angled ledge just to describe its geometric shape. But uh, it's really kind of like when you're out skating in the streets, you're trying to find all different kinds of curves and ledges. And so you might actually find something like this, uh, kind of looks maybe a smaller version of this. Uh, called parking blocks. If you've ever been a, in a parking lot and you see that thing that kind of stops the car from going too far up, that's kind of a, a concrete curb. Sometimes they're yellow. Um, that's a fun little curb ledge thing that we like to skate. Uh, a taller one that you see on the, the highways a lot are called Jersey barriers. Um, that would be like a taller version of this. Um, you know, so there's a lot of different kind of curbs that we, uh, we like to skate that are like this. This is, gives you a lot of different ways to skate. And there's a lot of different shapes too for uh, parking blocks. You see all the kinds. Some of them have kind of look like this, but they have like a flat top edge, right? Some of them are actually just at an angle like this one, like a triangle. 
And yeah, there's all sorts of different things you can do on them. But uh, here we go. So you guys should have your triangles on there now, right? I remember what I, I, I only use three pieces of tape for each side. You can do more if you want, but I feel like three is all you really need, right? One piece on the inside and then two pieces on the outside. And you guys should have your ledge resting on this, you know, sort of cardboard platform thing that we have right now. And do one extra piece. Okay. I mean, for the example, I mean, I just made them sort of even, but you guys really could just experiment with uh, making them, you know, one side maybe would have like a longer angle maybe or maybe one edge would just be flat yeah depends but you guys can get really creative with this yeah so once you guys are done taping right this last step is pretty pretty simple right we're just going to cut out the base right so you want like a bottom half right so it's a little stronger so it's not just open on one side and all you need for that is you just need to grab your, your drawing utensil and you're just going to trace out the line here and just snip it off, right? So I'm going to do that real quick to show you guys, right? And by now, like your ledge should, you know, be pretty, pretty stable, right? It should be able to hold in the same place for a while. All right, so I'm just going to draw a straight line. Right, and I'm just gonna cut it out, cut across. Just like that. And then fold it in, and then tape will do the rest. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use, I might use a longer piece of tape for this one, just so I can tape it across. I mean, you guys can tape it however you want, but I'm just gonna do it this way. So that way, I have this nice strip of tape going all the way across. So I know none of this is gonna bend in or fold out or whatever will stay still right and you can see the other side is already done for us right because we use the natural sort of crease on the edge of the box and so the final product should be this angled parking block ledge thing that's all put together and uh ready to skate <laughs> Let me see how everyone's doing. Awesome. That this is so cool. I might, I love mine. I think uh, we should go, go like we usually do. Let's go through and go one by one and uh, and share share our creations. Um, I'll go I'll go first. I wanted to show you uh, mine. I, I went with the the Kashi cereal box again, but this time it's the uh, honey almond flax instead of the chocolate. And uh, when I was creating the base, I kind of was 
thinking ahead about maybe a second second use of it. So if you guys look at it in side view, you see that I made it so that one of the angles could be 90 degrees. So what I was kind of thinking might work, let me see if I can twist it around and show you my desk wall here. So I have a little wall on my desk. So if I take the 90 degree side and put it right there, now I've got a wall ride. I can go up the wall. <laughs> nice. I got a little wall ride there. Besides the other use of the, you know, like this. So that's that's mine. Um, I think maybe should we go unmute one at a time here? Uh, raise your hand if you want to show yours, and I'll unmute you. You can show show us what you've got. Let's see. All right, I've got. Let's see what you got. Turn it around. Hold. Awesome. That's nice. nice and nice and big too. It's a good a good size size. Yeah, light. looks great. Cool. Thanks for showing that to us. All right, we'll put you back on mute. Oh, sorry. I think we're fighting with the mute button. Um, all right, who's next? Let's see. Hands, hands. There we go. All right. Cool. Great. Nice ledge. Wow, these look amazing. Yeah, you guys did really great. Thanks wow. for showing us. All right, who? I love the variety in boxes. Yeah. Who would like to go next? Show your hand to the screen. Let's see, anyone? Oh, nice. Some extra strong tape. Looks good. What did you make it out of there? Oh, there we go. You get to see your markers. Cool. He's about to color it, I think. Awesome. That's a great idea. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that is. Agreed, that, guys. Yeah, these are usually, out, when, when they're painted, they're even better. When you see a concrete curb that's painted, that makes it even, even, uh, better to grind on cool um all right let's see who wants to show theirs next do you have a ledge you want to show us i see it on the table over there <laughs> what do you what do you have oh she's working on something else oh there's her ledge oh cool. there you go looks oh really good <laughs> yeah so great can you show that to us it's like a red parking block <laughs> <laughs> are you doing a little test to make sure it's strong yeah, yeah. nice that looks cool. Thanks for showing that to us. Awesome, guys. All right, let me put you back on mute and turn it back over to, um, let's see. I, yeah, we're actually, we went a few minutes over, but um, let me just ask Simon really quick before we, before we do uh, say goodbye. Um, Simon, are there a few tricks that you could suggest or show people like different, different tricks that could be done on, on this uh, particular obstacle? Yeah, totally. So like I said before, right, the cool thing about this you know, obstacle is that it's banked, meaning there's like a little ramp or an incline on like basically, you know, all four sides, right? And so the whole idea is that instead of having to ollie or whatever, just like, you know, in real life, you can actually just ride up it, right? So you don't have to do, you can just ride up it. You kind of call that a slappy in skateboarding. But um, for this obstacle, like I can just like show you, you guys can even see, but <laughs> like if I do a slappy board slide, right? Where I slide on the deck, just, you know, right down the middle, right? You can just ride up it. Or, you know, you can go from the top, right? Maybe do a 50-50, that'd be a little harder. But yeah, you can still get on like that. Or you can even go from the side, right? little axle stall <laughs> um you know what i what also might help is like if you tape it just like all the other you know ramps we've made so far like if you just grab a little stick of tape and you know tape it to the surface whatever you're whatever you're you know fingerboarding on then that should be enough to hold it in place so you can do like everything maybe two <laughs> Depends on where you put it, I guess. But yeah, there's like tons of like slappy combinations you guys can mess around with with this obstacle. And it's a great addition to your DIY skate park. <laughs> Sweet, thanks for showing that to us, Simon. There's a, yeah, like you said, with, with being able to ride into it, you can do a lot more. And you know, it's almost like a small ramp. So you could even think about like, sometimes you see these these street transitions like this, you can almost do like a transition trick. Like I was thinking about going up into a, like you can ride in and ride out of the trick. Like you can do like a five Oh and then fake you out oh. quick or even go into like, 
go into a nose grind, ah, nose grind, and then kind of like pivot on your wheels and you almost like got to like sick. manual it a little bit, but there's a lot of kind of like, you know, there's little ledges like that at LES. Uh, actually, there, there actually is a little bank to, to a parking block and then there's some of the ledges are actually curved so people will skate it like that. Um, so a lot of, lot of options there. Um, I, I almost put some rocks in this before I taped it up to make it heavier, but I decided not to. But I think taping it down will, will definitely help. Or if you have like a skate park you're setting up, you can, you can do that. Um, cool. So with that, uh, I want to thank Simon for once again, we got another obstacle in. Uh, just a quick reminder, we've got the other three episodes up on our YouTube channel. So you, if, you, uh, if you missed those, you can go and uh, check them out and uh, please subscribe. We're putting a lot of stuff up on our YouTube channel these days. Uh, I think we've been <laughs> uploading like several times a week with a lot of stuff. We've got a new series coming out from Emilio where he's doing a quick uh, skate FAQs. Uh, one on stances is coming out real quick. And we've got this, we've got my skate hacks. Um, skate video time with Danny is streaming Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. You know, we're trying to keep, uh, keep you guys all tuned in and connected and stoked while we're all hanging out here at home. But um, let me just, before I say goodbye, let me just unmute everyone. I'm gonna unmute everyone and then, or, or I'll, let, I'll let Simon say goodbye. Uh, before we're all unmuted and then I'll unmute everyone. All right, so Simon, you can say one last goodbye and we'll go unmute. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm really glad that everyone was able to follow and create a really cool angled Thanks. ledge parking block. Bye-bye. Awesome. Everyone is unmuted. Can you all put up your... Bye. Can thank you guys you show us your me. obstacles and say no goodbye? Bye-bye. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Thank Have a you. great day. Thank you, yep. Bye. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Simon. Bye. Of course. Bye. Take care. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, great. Thanks. Cool. Yeah. All right. We're going to close this see out. See you next week. Yeah. See you guys next week. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Same, same channel, maybe different time. We'll see, but check the newsletter. All right. We Bye, will. everyone. Thanks.